I'm here with Andrea Guzman, um, who is studying English at the University of Southern California and is in Pembroke because he is studying on the Pembroke King's programme. Andre, hello. Hello, how are you doing? So you're majoring in English. Can you talk a little bit more about what areas of English particularly interest you? Um, right now I'm really interested in American literature and poetry. I originally wasn't interested in like English in general. I was well, I wanted to major in English because it was my weakness throughout high school, so I wanted to change that. But right now, American literature is definitely my interest. Why is it that you're interested in American literature particularly? Well, the American literature I'm interested in is stuff like James Baldwin, Langston Hughes, Alice Walker, Zora Neale Hurston. So for me, I'm really interested in the African-American experience from roughly about the 1920s and after, because I feel like it gives a alternative explanation of like what the American experience is like. So which is the first poem you've chosen today? The first poem I chose is Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. And in this poem it talks a lot about what she's been through and I can relate to it a lot because she talks about her pain and one of the lines that points it out is up from a past that's rooted in pain I rise. So I feel like a lot of people in general go through their own sort of pain and even though we all have different sorts of pain and we have our own personal experience of what we've been through Maya Angela, I feel like she does a good job of summarizing it and she says, still I rise. So it's like taking those past experiences and struggles and still making something good out of it. Thank you. What is it that you think makes poetry meaningful? Mm, for me, it's being able to capture like episodes through life, being captured like different bits, pieces of your life, and then just examining like one certain piece and like opening it up and writing a poem about it. And if somebody's been through that certain experience, they'll, they'll, they'll be able to like relate to it and I guess people could talk about the poem. But definitely capturing episodes of your life that you normally just take for granted and you just go through life, you don't really examine it. And then once you do examine it, you realize that kind of made you who you are today. But, yeah. Okay. And then on that note, which is the second poem you've chosen? For the second poem, I chose The Rose That Grew From Concrete by Tupac Shakur. It's from his poetry book that he, he, well, that was published for him after his death. And the whole poem deals with him being, like a rose being a metaphor for him, someone that grew out of concrete. So for me, the, um, the concrete represents like the concrete jungle. Tupac came from like, he was raised in Oakland and he dealt with like poverty, crime in his neighborhood. So for him, for me, the poem talks about just being able to be a rose and grows, grow out of concrete despite like not having resources that a normal rose would. And then the line that stood out to me was, by keeping his dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. So to me, it talks about, that's talking about like Tupac's ambition and making it out of the ghetto or making it out of his neighborhood, making something good out of a bad environment that he was given. How do you feel that your personal experiences influence your engagement with poetry and literature? I just feel like personal experience, it helps interpret poems, definitely helps interpret. Because I, I think poetry in self is subjective. If somebody writes a poem, people interpret it differently according to their own experiences. So when for the Maya Angelou poem, when she says, still I rise, people can look at that poem from different perspectives, from their own personal pain of what they've been through. And then they can still relate. They can still have like a common agreement. That's definitely one way like experience plays a role in poetry. Like it helps interpret a poem easier if you've been through certain things that the author might have been through. Okay. And then your third poem that you've chosen. For the third poem I chose is I Too by Langston Hughes. And in this poem he basically talks about the American experience, how he he also sings America and it kinda goes back to that idea of back to the African-American literature of the, the African-Americans having like an alternative explanation. He basically ties into that, but he also says he still embraces America. Even though America doesn't accept him, he still embraces it and he still considers it himself. And that's why he too sings. I, he is American. And for the line that stood out to me is, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. So he's basically talking about, you know, the white America not accepting him, but he still embraces them and he still embraces his nationality. Excellent. Thank you. Um, so coming back to the reasons that you're studying English, mm -hmm. do you think it's 
given you what you expected or have you found other pathways through it? Mm, definitely, it opened up my interest a lot. It's, I, didn't, I didn't come up with a lot of expectations when I started into English. I just wanted to at least improve my writing skills, but I think English definitely helped me interpret things a lot. Made me think a lot more creatively. Definitely build a huge interest in poetry. Like I'm really interested in um, African-American poetry. I think it definitely taught me to think a lot more conceptually, especially with like my own life and just being able to capture certain episodes and turn that into poetry.